Hello, welcome back to another day in the shop here. We're going to continue our buttoning up of the loose ends by finishing off this roll cage once and for all and throwing a little bit of color on it and calling that part done. So, thanks for stopping by and let's get rolling on this. Alright, so it's been quite some time since I pretty much finished these things off and as you can tell, the winter has not been kind to the steel bars here. This is pretty much the moisture in the air from running the uh, big torpedo heater since the propane uh, puts uh, moisture in the air from the combustion thing we got all this little surface rust going on so I got some scotch bright pads and I'm gonna have to clean this clean this piece up a little bit here before we can completely call it a day so I'm gonna get scrubbing away and get her all cleaned up. All right, so I'm probably just gonna paint this in sections. Got this door section cleaned up, so I'll paint that. And then I'll just move around section by section. These bars are looking pretty good. Still have to do some finish welding down here in this bottom edge and up on these top pieces. So I'll stay away from them and leave them to last. Yeah. Also still have, there's a piece of metal I was gonna put in between the bar and the ceiling. So we'll do that too. All right, so that's starting to look good. Kinda got the first coat on over here. Gotta work. Still on a bunch of that stuff, but we are definitely getting there. All right, well, don't mind the uh, heater in the corner making a little bit of noise here, but this is a point that I was procrastinating on for so long. And it kind of making me cringe just thinking about it, but I guess it's time to quit wasting time and just get down and dirty and screw this thing up seriously. Now I'm going to have to put these guys back someday. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll work. Haven't been the worst thing that I've screwed up so far. But, at least on the upside, I can reach all the tubes.
here's another awesome area. Good that. Gotta get the welder in here. So the last section is we're going to add a little bit of gusseting to the kind of roof bar here. And it's essentially just going to go right up here on the cage. And that's essentially because I don't want to cut a hole in this section of the roof like I did in the back. It's like the back there was, what was there, one, two, three. There are like three tubes intersecting, intersecting in that area, so that was worth it to cut a hole. Right here, there's just the one there, and on this side, that cross brace. But if you put one of these gusset braces in there, you can get by the uh, rule books without having it welded all the way around. So, that's what we're going to do here. Alright, we got that kind of tacked up in there. I'll mess around with the angles and once we get that zapped up, we can finish painting the bars. All right, so before we put this thing to bed for the night, I've got this piece here to help reinforce the ceiling. like that.
All right. Cage is looking pretty nice. Good enough for today. All right, well that should definitely be enough for today. This way the cage is completely checked off the list and considered completely done. So we got everything welded up that we needed to and braces where we needed it. So hopefully that'll tech in at any places that we end up going to. Uh, chances are 98% of where I go won't require a cage anyways, so we'll just be that much further ahead. But anyways, thanks again for watching and joining me on this disaster trip. And I guess, yeah, until next time, I guess I will see you guys later.